Hey guys, it's Tracy Rubel with Psyched in San Francisco. I'm in my downtown San Francisco psychotherapy office and I'm doing this video posting on big feelings. So if you ever struggle with your emotional feeling world, then this blog's for you. And I guess who doesn't? I was struck this week by how much I was doing to avoid feeling some things inside myself. And then when I actually finally caved in and let myself just be with myself, I went, oh my gosh, I could have just felt these feelings, which was way better than all the funky behavior that I was creating to avoid them. But I'm telling you, people do this all the time. And sometimes uh, even inside the therapy room. Um, the ways in which we tend to avoid our experience are through, you know, distracting ourselves through alcohol, food, TV, entertainment, uh, socializing, anything that takes us out of our experience, or by trying to control our experience. We might try to make meaning of every single thing that happens to us and analyze it. I, I, I think for a lot of people, there's this sense that if I don't understand why I'm feeling what I'm feeling, then I don't have any permission to feel it. And it's a real shame because a lot of stuff that we feel that comes up in these unexpected places is oftentimes uh, feelings that we have as a backlog from when we were still in diapers. You know, little kids' brains are like a sponge and we're we're completely wired to case out mom and dad. We are so, so keyed into them sort of psychologically that any shifts that they make away from us, we will adjust our sense of self just so that they'll stay close. I mean, our very survival is dependent on them staying close. But that carries forward as adults where we might actually have some ways in which we don't allow ourselves to relate in particular ways where we can stay open and vulnerable. We might be prickly or judgmental. The places where I see this happen the most relationally is between romantic partners. It is the hotbed. It looks the most like mom and dad. So we tend to play out all kinds of old hurts there and try to solve it by talking about it. But oftentimes we actually need to feel these old hurts and know that it isn't just about our partner. The second place that happens a lot is at work. Bosses are also a, an ideal location to transfer all kinds of hurts from our past onto. Um, and sometimes it's not about just transferring hurt. Sometimes we won't even take in good stuff from these people. We may be, just be defended from receiving anything good. Um, and then interestingly enough, now that I'm a parent, I see mothers do this to one another. Perhaps a mother sees another mother parent in a way that's deeply triggering. It actually brings up all of her own young baby material and the ways that she felt mistreated. So I, I see a lot of mothers judge each other. And instead of saying, hey, it looks like you might need my help, they'll actually just criticize and judge another mom. Or they might see a person in a parenting role and wish that they could be their mom. And that creates some funky energy. So how to be with big feelings then, especially these ones from when we were little tiny? Well, Give this a try. It's, uh, you know, you might have a little eye roll response, but it's sort of like giving yourself a hug. My mantra is every ouch deserves a hug. How many times do we minimize something that happens to us throughout the day and then just keep trugging on? Um, every ouch deserves a hug. So every time you get your feelings hurt, every time you feel left out, every time you feel criticized or critical, even if you're just imagining it, these are all signposts that some part of you just wants some attention, just wants someone to say, hey, you're really hurt in there and I'm here. And you can actually give that to yourself. And if the feelings that come up are huge, you might, you might cry or you might get really angry, then you might need someone to listen to them, to listen to you in the feelings. You don't want them to give you advice, which is sort of a symbolic way of saying, get over it. And you don't want them to, to coddle you, which is another way to say, get over it. You want someone that can just say, you're really mad. And I see that you're really mad or you're really sad. And if you don't have friends that are skilled enough, like I do to do that, then this is when you need a good therapist. Good therapists who work relationally, this is what they do. We sit with people in these difficult spots and fundamentally what happens then in the therapy room is that their brains 
get rewired. All those wirings that they set up when they were in diapers get rewired. And that is the stuff of therapy. So give this meeting every ouch with a hug thing a try. I'd love to know how it's going for you. So send me an email, tracy at tracyrubel.com. Signing off for today.